Welcome to Academic Web Services Training. I am your host, David Pinter. And in this session, what we're going to be discussing is creating object states here inside of Adobe InDesign. So what I have here on this one page is these uh, images. There's text on top of blue rectangles. What we're going to be doing is creating uh, buttons out of those. We have some text over here off to the side, so when we actually click a button, they'll be over here and they'll fade in. And on top of these buttons, there'll be images, and those images will then fade in from 50% opacity to 100% opacity. So let's, uh, let's before we do anything there, let's go up here and make sure that our, our workspace is correct. So if you look off to over here to the right side, you'll see that we're in the typography workspace. We wanna go up and go to workspace and go to the digital publishing workspace. And what you'll notice immediately off to the right side, you'll see animations, buttons and forms, and then object states. Those are the, the palettes that we're gonna be working with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my rectangular frame tool, and I'm gonna draw out a frame here about this size, and then I'm gonna repeat that and copy that over here to this side, because these will be graphic images. I'll select these two, hold down Option, and then drag those down here so we can duplicate those. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all four of those. Now with those selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in some images. I have four images right here inside of Adobe Bridge. We have the Arizona, Colorado, Hawaii, and Massachusetts pick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those four and then bring them over to here, click, and then click on the images respectively, Arizona, Colorado, Hawaii, and Massachusetts. But if you'll notice that those four images are zoomed in a little bit, so I wanna make those the size of the frame. So what I'll do is I'll select them, three, four, and then right click and come down to fitting and then fit content to frame. And those are how the images are supposed to be looking correctly. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take those images and change the opacity to 50%. And when I click on a button, they'll come in at 100% and then text will pop up over here. So the first thing is I have to create the, make these into an object state. But the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna change these to opacity 50%. I'm selecting all four of them by holding down the shift key, coming up here to the top menu bar, and then sliding this down to 50%. There. Now that I have those same objects selected, I'm going to copy those and then edit paste in place uh, right on top of each other. Now they're still at 50%, so let's go up here and change those to 100%. There we go. Now that we have the original 100% image, we need to now take that and change those into object states. So let's go over here to the object states palette. Down at the bottom is a little plus sign that says convert selection to a multi-state object. So if we click on this, you'll notice that it immediately inside this palette created those four objects into states. However, they're out of order, so we have to basically put these in the right order. This is the Arizona, that's the Hawaii, there's the Colorado, okay, and then there is the Massachusetts. So let's take this first one, let's get them in order. I'm gonna put this one up here first, okay. The second state is here, this is the Colorado one. The third state would be the Hawaii one right there, and then the fourth state is the Massachusetts. Now the first thing that we should do is let's start typing the names out of these because we're going to be using those names later on. So that would be Arizona, Colorado, and all you have to do is just select it and then just click on the word and then you can start typing. Hawaii, and then finally Massachusetts. Like that. All right, now that we have all four of those in, we're good to go. Now let's go, and you notice by the way, before we uh, take care of the buttons, notice it says object name, multi-state number one. Well, these images are the multi-state number one. The text objects over here are gonna be multi-state number two, just to let you know how we're gonna do this. We have some text here, okay? And then we have said so we have that blue rectangle in the back. What I wanna do is I wanna select both of those, okay, at the same time, and Command G, group them. We need to have those grouped because I want to be able to roll over and have the cursor active along the entire size of the rectangle and on top of the text. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one here. I'm going to select those two and group them. I'm going to go down to the Hawaii one and then group that one. 
and then we're going to go to over to the Massachusetts one and then group that one as well. Now we're going to turn these into buttons. So I'm going to select the object Arizona and now I want to, what I want to do is I'm going to go over to buttons and forms. Now the type of object I want to create is a button. So again, I had the Arizona one selected, I turned it into a button and up here, just to keep it consistent, I want to make sure that that's going to be named as Arizona. And we'll put in button after the word. Now that we have that in, if you'll notice here, in the actions state portion, there's no actions added yet. If we click on this one plus state, we're going to go down to go to state because we want to bring it to an object state. So go to state, okay? Again, multi-state number one is the only one that we have right now, okay? This is the first state that we made is the graphics. The second one will be over here with the text, but here, and then we'll click on Arizona. See, this is why we name these so we can see actually see what they are. So Arizona. Next, we'll go to the Colorado. We'll click on the button. We'll create a button out of it. We'll type in Colorado. Like that. And then, of course, there's no actions. We'll set an action for that by clicking the plus and then go to state. All right. That looks pretty good. And then down here now, what's going to happen is we're going to come down and then click on this and we'll click on the Colorado pick. There we go. Next, we'll go to over to the Hawaii one and we're going to repeat that. We're going to go over to button. We're going to give it a name. Like so. Click on the action, the plus sign, and then create, go to state. Multi-state one. And then again, this one's going to be Hawaii. There we go. Looking good. And then finally, we're going to go over here to the Massachusetts one. We're going to turn that one into a button. And then on the actions, we're going to give it its name first, Massachusetts. Like that. And then we'll give it its state, go to state, like that. And then, of course, we're going to click, click on Massachusetts. So there we go. We have them all set up. Now let's go down here to the preview button and let's take a look what this is going to look like. Okay, so interesting enough, Arizona, the picture came in at 100%. And you can see I can actually hover over it. When I click on Colorado, that's also a button. Now I can click on it. The Arizona one goes back to 50% and the Colorado is now at 100% opacity. Hawaii is working and Massachusetts is working as well. So that looks pretty good. Now let's work on the actual text. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select these text fields and then bring them over here and line them up with the side of that blue bar. And I want them all to come in about right here. So what I'll do is since they're all selected, I'm gonna go up here and left align them and then top align them just like that. Now, since they're all selected right now, I'm gonna come over here like we did before, go to the object state and then come down and then convert them to a multi-state object. And this will be a multi-state number two. So when I click on the plus sign, you'll see that they've now all popped up this way. Now, if you notice that that number one, state one, is Massachusetts, that's actually not in the correct order like we had with the images. So let me just take that, we'll just drop that down to the bottom here. We'll take the state number four and we'll bring that up to the top. And then we'll take state three, Colorado, and we'll bring that in that order here. So we'll have Arizona, Colorado, Hawaii, and Massachusetts. Now they're all in the correct order. So now what we want to do is uh, select on the top one here and we'll change that now to Arizona because when we look at a thumbnail now at that size or what, the, what that looks like, it'll be very difficult to tell that what kind of a picture that is. So we're going to actually go ahead and name this again. Like this, we'll just go Arizona, Colorado, Hawaii, and Massachusetts, like that. Okay, now that we have them all named, now what we're gonna do now is head back over to the button states and then apply the click to the picture and the text. So I'm gonna click on Arizona, I'm gonna go over to the button state again, 
And notice that nothing else has changed here so far, but when I go to the top up here and I click on Actions Plus, I'm gonna go in here and add another state, so go to State. But this time, what's very interesting is if you click down here, the Object Multi-State, you'll see that now there's two. So I'm gonna click on number two, and then I'm gonna fly this out, and sure enough, there they are, and I'm gonna click on Arizona. I'm gonna go over now to the next one, the Colorado one, Colorado button, and I'm gonna click on a new action, go to state, like this, multi-state two, and then the next one in line is Colorado. I'm gonna come over here and click on Hawaii. There's the Hawaii button. I'm gonna make an action, click on the plus sign, go down to the go to state, and then multi-state two, and then click on the Hawaii text field. Next, I'm gonna click on Massachusetts, the Massachusetts button, Actions, the plus sign, come down to the state, fly out the state, multi-state number two, and make sure that you have the Massachusetts text field selected. All right, now let's take a look at that right now. We're gonna click on the preview and we'll see what this looks like. Okay, you notice that Arizona, the picture is at 100%, and you see the text field Arizona at 100% in its proper space. If I click on Colorado, the image pops up, and then this also pops up as well, replacing it with the Arizona. Same thing with Hawaii, and then the same thing over here with Massachusetts. Everything is working pretty good. Now, let's take a look at a little bit of animation we can do to make this look a little bit smoother. All right, so the thing is, is when we're working with animation, we wanna basically come up here now, for instance, we, we see the object states right here, okay? like this, we're on Arizona, okay? And I wanna come over here to the animation side of it. But before we do a preset of animation, we have to make sure this is no longer in an object state. So all you have to do is come over to here to the Arizona box right here, and off to the right side, just simply double click this so it turns back into the original text box, okay? And now we can come over here and go to choose, and we'll, what we'll do is we'll have that simply just fade in and we'll have it fade in at 0.5 seconds. Now let's go back over to the object states. We'll go over now to the Colorado, because I'm in multi-state two. We'll go over here to Colorado, and then again, gonna go up to animation, and then double click the side here like this, so it's only now, a, it's, a, uh, it's a text field. And we're gonna come over here and then click on choose to go to fade in, and then we'll drop that down to 0.5 seconds. Next thing we'll do is we'll go over, back over here to the object states, Multi-state two, Hawaii, double click the side of it like that, and then go up to animation, and then what we'll do is we'll choose again, fade in, like that. Object states, Massachusetts, double click, like this. Go over to the animation, and then we'll come over here to fade in. So that looks pretty good. So let's see what that looks like with the preview. All right, as we notice, the Arizona text faded in nicely. Colorado fades in nicely. Hawaii fades in nicely. And Massachusetts fades in also very nicely. So there you go, working with object states inside of Adobe InDesign.